and welcome back to Subnautica. We are on our escape pod. So I taped an entire episode and, uh, yep, lost the entire thing because I was, uh, I don't know, I didn't hit, uh, record or something like that. Anyway, uh, what I did was I went and visited the, uh, I went back to the Aurora and ran away from crabs a lot and managed to scan some more office furniture and got a lot of batteries. Um, was not the most exciting thing in the world, so, you know, you didn't miss anything. Uh, I got like 12 batteries. I got one fire extinguisher, which I then used, and um, a prawn suit poster. So, you know, I've got that too. Um, got a salt deposit. That, that's probably good for um, uh, curing some fish. So maybe we should do that as well. Let's uh, get some food. Let's see. You're a pretty fish and easy to catch. Um, you are not so easy to catch, but I got you anyway. Let's see. We'll go eat one and we'll cure the other. And uh, then we're going to go and do a little bit of old-fashioned exploring because um, I am not particularly happy with... Uh, it's really possible that there's a lot of stuff there on the, the Aurora that we can get, but um, I didn't find most of it. Um, and most of it was just me running away from crabs that were trying to eat me. But... Um, yeah, we'll keep the uh, cure fish um, for now. But so my plan is, I am going to use the escape pod as a reference point, and I'm going to go swim 500 meters out this way. And then I'm going to dive down, and I'm going to explore, and then I'm going to go around the, uh... I'm going to go around the life pod, trying to stay about 500 meters away, and then I should get a pretty good view of what's around me that way, I'm hoping. This is the theory. So we're already 200 meters up. And then if that doesn't work, we can go further up. Well, this is pretty. Because really, I've been to the Aurora. I've been to the one alien island. Um, I've discovered some wrecks. But I kind of feel like, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. But, um... I don't know. We, we get occasional radio signals that tell us, like, where to go. And that's been a little helpful, but, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to do my own exploring. Well, that's interesting. We haven't done too much exploring of the, uh, of these, uh, crevices either. Um, I actually have a, let's see, how far are we? We're almost there. Um, I actually have a, a a rebreather that lets me go further away, or that lets me get deeper without, uh, I think it basically helps us with oxygen and, yeah, 500. So let's start exploring. Oh, look at this. That is an interesting coincidence. Uh, no parent sharks trying to eat us. Um, And just like that, sea glide. Okay, that was suspiciously easy. It's like the one time I go off to explore, I pick a random direction and I find a sea glide fragment right away. I don't suppose you can, can find a way off the planet, like right here too. 
Maybe? No? No? Okay. Well, does not hurt to ask. Uh, so, a couple of the things we did find, or I did find on that last... A couple of things that I did find on the ship. I found one blueprint for a laser cutter, which is good, because we don't have a laser cutter. Um, I found a blueprint for some sort of ion cannon, uh, which we obviously don't have either. Um, but it was only like one of two and one of three, so I really need to go and find more wrecks. But I'm also kind of interested to find out what have I not found yet. Okay, there's a creature egg. This is the perfect place to run into one of those explodey guys. Or some titanium. Okay, getting a little bit too far out, so let's get a little bit closer. Hey, Peeper. Okay, so... We've got some more metal salvage, I guess, yet. Yeah. We got some little biter guys. Um, well, that's kind of cool looking. It's a pretty area there. 30 seconds. Yep. Oh, we got some more floaters. I keep going and telling my wife how pretty this game is, and uh, then I go and I forget to take uh, that there's an option on here to take pictures. Okay, this is, this looks like it's got a potential to hide a lot of bad guys. Oh, what was that? Man. I gotta say the sound in this game is really great. Um, they do a really great job of making you feel like, oh crap, I should not have come here. Let's see. Yep, we're staying about 500 meters out. 80. Oh look, another wreck. And another place where we could probably dive down some. Passing oh man, look at that. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh man. I should have built some beacons. Um, because right now if I don't find anything, if I find something that's really particularly interesting, I'm not sure I can find my way back. Let's see, this is... It is just a little bit, let's see, it's just a little bit west of north, or a little bit north of northeast. So I guess that means if I go a little bit south of southwest, I could find this place again. Maybe dive down there and take a closer look. But for now, I would like to try to check out this wreck. So in the last episode I did record, or the one before that, I almost got eaten by a giant leviathan. And uh, yeah, ran into him again on the episode that I tried to record but failed. Um, he didn't eat me again, but uh, not for lack of trying. Um, also, uh, I said that uh, I have a coworker that was watching some of my videos, and he was commenting on the fact that I swim right past these cargo boxes, and he pointed out that some of them are actually open on one side, and that I should check them out because you can find some stuff in there. And I didn't even know. I just assumed that they were all. I assumed that they were all just uh, there for decoration. Because you can't scan them, and up until then, I hadn't found anything in any of them. Ooh, bioreactor. 
which I'm pretty sure I have already, but, you know. I think you get, I don't know if you always get titanium uh, if you research something that you haven't, you know, if you try to research or scan something that you've already gotten. Yep. And I've, I've scanned. I've come way too far out. I need to get a little bit closer when we leave here. But, uh, it's pretty. So let's see. We'll check this out, I think. Yep. Maybe. Yep, nothing in there. Um, I think I've checked these guys out. 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Efficiency decreased. And I can't get through there. Uh, metal salvage, which I don't really care about too much right now. Oh, look, biters. That's funny, I didn't even... I was just trying to scan him, and he ran away from me because I was scanning him. That is weird behavior. Okay, I think we're about done here because I don't see any obvious way in. Yeah, this is another one of those that I could open up. I could uh, open it up if I had a laser cutter, but I don't. So south southwest will. Thirty seconds. Yep, already going up. Uh, south southwest will lead us back to that. Uh, that uh, a crack in the bottom of the ocean and um, a wreck that we can maybe laser cut our way into, but for right now. I kind of feel better knowing that these big guys are around here because, you know, it kind of seems like they would want to go and hang out with those giant leviathans weren't. Maybe they get along, but in case they don't, I'm going to take their, them being here as a good sign. What is this? Okay, that's a shark. Yep, yep, yep. But what are these down here? I don't think I've seen these before. Man. Okay, shark. Yep. Yep, nothing. Uh, so there's another hole. That's a good sign. Oh, crap. Hi. Hi. You won't let me scan you either. Huh? Okay. Uh, oh, stuff to look at though. And I uh, could have sworn I saw a life pod down here. There was a life pod down there. Uh, I'm nearly, uh, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay. Get our breath. Where did our life pod go? There it is. Uh, Yep, 528. So we're staying just about 500 meters. That's working out pretty good. Okay, now where was that? Okay, there's the shark that's hanging out really close to the stuff I want to scan. Could have sworn I saw a life pod. Oh, there it is. Number 17. I think I've already seen that one. Where did that shark go now? Okay. Just gonna trust that you're not gonna eat me? Aha! Yeah. Seek fluid intake. And I'll scan this while I'm at it. to drink some water and probably let's go ahead and eat the fish while we're at it. But let's see, is number 17 one of the ones that we... I think it is. Let's see. Voice log? No. What was it? Data bank? Or survivor? Yeah, we have a life pod 17. It's probably going to be a really good idea to read some of these 
clogs too. Okay, so if we've been here before, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, next area. Um, where is our lift pod? Okay, so we're going this way. Hopefully you're not getting run over by one of these guys. Feeling pretty good that they're there. Okay, no sharks. No sharks. Got some, uh... Oh. Yep, we got it. Uh, coral shell plate, acid mushrooms. Yeah, I think we... Okay. I have a 651. I am way too far away, but hey, I guess that's where we're going. Shark. Oh, one of my cats sounds so sad. Wow, this is a big part of the ship. I think uh, we definitely are going to have to dive down there and check that out. So sad when I'm recording. I'm not paying attention to the cats. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's check this out. Uh, this may very well be the biggest piece of the ship that I've found. You know, aside from the main part of the ship. Have I found this before? Though is the question. If there's a bunch of stuff to scan, then the answer is no. If it's just a bunch of metal salvage, then maybe. Shark. Um, yep, yep, yep. Shark, shark, shark. Uh, oh, I totally don't want that quartz. This is pretty, uh... Mm, yep. I'm kind of thinking I've been here before. I'm not seeing a way in, but I remember checking out a uh, wreck like this. And given that there's nothing around it that I haven't scanned, that's probably a good sign that I've already... Uh, that's a good sign that I've already done this. So let's get a little bit closer. So I seem to be getting further and further away from the life pod. And then we'll dive down and keep looking. Okay. I like that it's not so deep over here. That's a good sign. I mean, I don't know why I would think that's a good sign, aside from the fact that it's I'm closer to the surface and further away from certain death. as I turn the corner into a certain death, but... Yeah. It's very possible I've been to all these places before, but... So this looks kind of like a place where stalkers hang out. Yep. There are some stalkers. But I kind of feel like this is a area that I haven't been. Because I don't typically go on this side of the, uh, I usually go towards the Aurora. I don't go too far away from it. Although I do seem to have a problem of staying 500 meters away. I keep wanting to swim further and further. Keep wanting to swim, um, further out from it. And I just picked 500 at random. It seemed like a good distance. Like you could go out like, um, maybe swim out like a minute. And, uh, I 
What is this? No. Oh. Kind of looked like a giant creature for just a second, but it's not. And the fact that I'm finding sand sharks is kind of good because I hadn't really seen any until I got really close to the Aurora. Which means I probably haven't been here before. sharks here. Probably not the best place to just stand still and look around about how... Wait, there's something down there. Okay, sharks. Passing 100 meters. Sure you're gonna eat me. Seamoth fragment. Oh wait, we've already got the whole seamoth? Okay, I can see a shark above me. And there's sharks below me. That is not the best place to be. Luckily, they're not very accurate. Although they are just distracting enough to keep me from uh, getting oxygen when I need it. Maybe I should get one of those little floaty devices that'll let me come up to the surface fast. Let's uh, drink some water while we're here. Okay, and head back down. Still looking for more signs of racks. There didn't seem to be that much down there on that one. So it's possible I've done all this before. That kind of looks like um, a wreck right here. Okay. Wait, what? What? I, oh, acid. Acid mushrooms. Who needs those? There's those little tiger guys that always try to shoot me. Nope. Yep. Wait, what was that? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. What is that? That doesn't look friendly, and it doesn't look like a shark. was that? Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to head back soon. Partially because I can't see anything right now, but um, also gonna eventually need to eat again. Although, what is this? What am I looking at here? This looks like a new area I've just entered. Now yeah, we're gonna go check this out. What are these? Ancient floaters. Cool. patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, where are we? Um, okay, well, let's go check this out. So, this island... Oh, look! It's like a whole series of them. These used to be on the uh, surface, huh? Wait, 
It's these aren't the things that try to kill me, right? Earthen coral tree rooms. Okay. Uh, salt deposit, always good. Um, hmm. What is that noise? It's like there's something attacking me, but I don't see it. Got gold. That's a good sign. Okay, it's like there's something bad floating around here. Oh, like that guy right there. Like that guy right there. That's what I saw flo floating around. Eh. Not a fan of that. But, uh... Creature egg. Which I'm trying to avoid. Seems like creature... Man, there's a bunch of those guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Just get some salt. Let's go ahead and pick up some metal salvage. Uh, let's see. Beacon. Yeah, we're getting too far away again. 30 seconds. I feel like we've kind of gone most of the way around. We should be getting back closer to the aurora. Yep. So, 500 meters out, and... Yeah, we discovered... So what did we discover? Like that floating island thingy? We found a couple of wrecks. I'm pretty sure I've seen all those wrecks before, though. Stalker. Got it. I'm not too worried about them right this second. Uh, be nice if I could find some new stuff to scan, though. That's nice. Mobile vehicle bay. Haven't seen that before. What's this? I don't really want your metal salvage, you can have it. But if you see something to scan, Mr. Stalker, I would appreciate it. Um, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting too far away. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, Oxygen yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, what you got here? Oh. I'm a big fan of uh, getting new stuff. You know, that isn't like office chairs and, uh... Who's trying to eat me? Okay. I don't actually see a wreck here, though, so... exactly back at the Aurora, but I'm getting closer. And I think I've already pretty much found everything that's between the uh, life pod and the, and the Aurora. I mean, I might not have found everything, but I've at least experienced everything. Yeah, here's that other... Okay, that one big wreck that we found. I think I might have thought that it was this one. Well, that's possible. I haven't been here yet either. Let's see. Can I scan this stuff? Oh, boop. Oh. Hey, there's something over there to scan. Dang it. Am I going to risk certain death from that thing shooting? Ugh. That's definitely something scannable behind it. Yep. 
Oh, there's two of them. Crap. Ugh. Well, given that I have no weapon of any kind... No, let's... Okay, why did it not let me pick that up? Uh, Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Seems like... 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, maybe I haven't been here. So, let's, uh... We'll investigate this, and then we'll head back to uh, the life pod. Nope. Let's actually fill up. There we go. Yeah. That looks like there's something scannable back there, but I don't really want to get shot 20 times to get it. Although, what if it's the last few things that I need? Let's see, can I get in here? Oh, I've already got seam off. Of course. Of course it would be something I don't need. There's another one of those tiger shooter things. Oh, and another one. I'm really glad that everything's a horrible... horrible aim. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, but I'm going to have to go back soon. So, that'll salvage. Um, what's this? Another sea moth fragment. Yep. I didn't actually find a way in here. Oh, look. 30 seconds. Why did it just do that? Man, why is it gonna be all freaky? I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Oxygen. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Darn it! No. Wow, 20 meters from the surface. That's a very uh, Half-Life 2 type uh, music there. Okay, what did I lose? Everything? Uh, well, at least I'm fed and I have water again. But, uh, let's see. Did it actually... Did we keep the stuff that we downloaded? What did I actually... What did we get? Oh, we got a sea glide. That actually... I'm pretty happy about that. So next time we'll actually go and make one of these. Um, I think it'll make us go faster. Uh, converts torque into thrust underwater via propeller. That'll help us get around faster, so we won't spend quite so much time just, you know, going too deep underwater and then dying. But, uh, yeah, and then maybe we can, if we can find um, all the point parts for the laser cutter, I think that'll help. Propulsion cannon might actually help with uh, a lot of the creatures I'm having problems with. Mobile vehicle bay, I believe, lets us build these guys. And I've already got all the plans for the Seamoth. So it's a one-person sea and space vehicle. And a repulsion cannon. I have no idea what that is. But it can't be bad. Um, yep. Cyclops. More base stuff. Base rooms. I'm pretty sure I've scanned at least one of these. I don't know why it's showing me zero of two, but... Uh, Yep. Anyway, uh, but we'll, uh, 
we'll uh, take a look at that stuff next time. Um, but for now, let's see, did I lose all my batteries? Nope, still have all the batteries. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.